A consumer alert about, about employment scams if you're looking for a job. FBI Jacksonville's warning about scammers posing as legitimate businesses in order to steal your money and personal information. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno joins us now. Lauren, this is not a new scam, but it has now become a more lucrative one in our area. More money for those scammers. Nothing we ever want to hear for sure. So it was a lot harder to scam people when people used to apply for jobs in person. But the FBI tells me with the pandemic forcing fewer in-person interviews, the scam has exploded because it's now easier to rip you off. Top agencies fighting for consumers like the FBI, FTC, and BBB say scammers are taking advantage of COVID-19. We've actually seen fake employment scams really start to emerge around the beginning of the pandemic and they've just continued on and on and on. Amanda Vidal with the FBI Jacksonville office says last year in Florida, the agency received more than 1,500 reports of people falling victim to employment scams, reporting a loss of almost $6.5 million. Closer to home, there were 366 reported cases of employment scams in Jacksonville alone, resulting in over $400,000 of lost money. So they are spoofing legitimate company websites. They are posting on legitimate networking uh, social media sites like LinkedIn and making it look as if they have real jobs available for people right now. The scammers will post bogus job listings, and when you go to apply, they ask you for your personal information, like your social security number for a background check, and your bank information to set up direct deposit. So what do you do? You know, you're applying to a job, you think it's legit, and they ask for information. Do you give it? Do you not give it? You have to look up their website. You have to look up uh, background on their company. You have to look up uh, res you can see on Better Business Bureau websites and other uh, rating organization websites if these types of scams are out there and then ask a lot of questions. The FBI says one way to spot a fake employment scam is if you are asked for your bank information before you are hired or asked to use your personal bank to transfer money. Also, if you can't confirm the identity of the person asking for this sensitive information, don't give it. And if you are asked to meet in person or through a video chat and you are denied, that's a red flag. And get this, so far this year, already in Jacksonville, more than $22,000 have been lost in Jacksonville to employment scams. And we're not even halfway into 2021. Bruce, Jen? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, uh, thanks. So, Lauren. Lauren, besides the employment scam, what other scams are on the rise because of the pandemic? Yeah, this is so important because, you know, we talk about scams all the time, and, and these scammers really are at a new level during the pandemic. So the F F FBI told me the biggest scam they're seeing right now, their agents are seeing, involved the vaccine where scammers are trying to get people to pay for the shot when we know it is free. You should never, ever, ever have to pay for a COVID-19 vaccine. If anybody asks you to pay for one, it is a scam. Jen? is taking advantage of people who are fearful in so many instances. These are people who are desperate in a lot of cases who end up getting, you know, tricked into yeah. giving out information. And they use high pressure tactics. You know, they yeah. say, if you don't do this right now, something's gonna happen. And we hear a lot of them, the scams that, you know, there's a gun to someone's head, a loved one's head. It, it's jarring to even hear, but that is a common scam. You have to take a second back yeah. and, and that, that deep breath and say, okay, is this a scam? Is this really happening? You know, call that loved one, take that second, you know, call your doctor's office, check your local news organizations. Our, our COVID-19 shots don't cost anything. That's probably the biggest red flag when somebody's trying to pressure you into making a decision and a quick decision at that. You yeah, just and, basically say no. And, and, and no one that. thinks they'll ever fall for it. You know, but, but, but exactly, but they do because Jen, they're so convincing. Jen, I have fallen for a scam. I have fallen for a scam and I do this for a living. And it was one of those things where I did not take a second because these websites look so legitimate. Mm -hmm. They're using legitimate companies, legitimate websites. Take a second, do your research. Yep. It's so subtle important. things to look for. Yeah, exactly. Like a little misspelling. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank you, Lauren. Lauren. Good advice there.